Hi Gemini, this is your reading for September 2016 and please remember if this reading does not resonate with you because I am reading for so many people at the same time all over the world, uh, watch your moon and or rising sign. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, of course, I would love to do one for you. And you can reach me at my website, moonwatertarot.com, and just click on Tarot Services. And I would love to do one for you. So, all right, let me focus here for Gemini. Gemini for September. 2016 what are the messages Gemini. September what are the most important messages okay let's take a look The Emperor, wow, okay, the Three of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Devil in reverse, oh my goodness, the Six of Cups, I say that because I think it was Scorpio that this was in the outcome position also, if I am correct. It may have appeared for another card but or another reading, but I think it was Scorpio that this was also in the outcome position. And the chariot, oh my goodness, this... Am I getting it wrong and it was Capricorn? Um, these two cards came out for another reading, I think. I could be wrong. I know these two cards, came, I thought they came out in one actual reading. It was Scorpio or Capricorn. If not, I think this is in Capricorn and I think this is also in Scorpio. So I say that just in case there's some connection for you for those signs. That's the reason why I like to point that out. But my, uh, you know, usually as soon as I've done a reading, I usually forget it. Um, uh, so, but something is triggering me to say that. Um, okay, so let me, I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see this at a better angle. Um, and I will be right back. Okay. Thanks. All right, Gemini. So one of the things that I want to start off saying is that these particular signs or words are going to have some meaning for some of you. What I'm picking up is uh, Capricorn, Cancer, and Aries. That's what I'm picking up. Those signs, and plus I think what I said earlier, um, Scorpio may have some meaning too. You know, it's interesting because, let me look at these numbers. So, 6, 4, that's 1. 15, 6, 7, plus 3 is another 1, plus 7 is 8. Wow, and if I am correct, it's 8th house, which is ruled by Scorpio. What One of the things, okay, with also the number 8, I definitely am picking up on movement. So I feel some of you may be moving home. Now, this may be indicative in September where maybe it's moving away from home. Um, 
or it's a trip back home, or maybe you are leaving home. Uh, I definitely am sensing travel, like um, definitely. And for some of you, I feel like this could be long distance. Some of it, it may be by car, but I think that for some of you, it's, you know, for example, if you're in the United States, I'm being pulled to like Europe, uh, you know, or Western Europe for some reason. Uh, that's one of the things that I'm picking up now. You know, it's interesting because this four here uh, speaks and it's oh, the fourth house is ruled by cancer. So cancer may definitely have some meaning for you, but we have the emperor and this may be, uh, for me, this could be very much representative of a boss. Uh, there may be a situation in the workplace where there may be uh, some type of a struggle or power struggle, I think, regarding three people. So this definitely, definitely could be in the workplace. Um, and... Another way that I am looking at this, though, is, okay, I am picking up also because the four represents home to me. It represents family. It also represents new beginnings. And I feel like there is the possibility of starting something new or having to look at something new within the home. Um... I almost feel that this could even be very much love related. I am picking up on possibly three children. The number three is going to definitely have some meaning. This could be like, for example, September 3rd, September 12th, uh, because one plus two is three, September 21st. Um, September 30th, those, uh, and I'm also getting like somebody, and this could be very much a father figure, it could be a brother figure, an uncle, grandfather figure. I almost feel like somebody is being honored. This may be also very like military. Uh, but I almost feel like somebody is being honored or it is, um, how's this coming across to me? It's, it's, so for some of you, I feel like this is kind of, maybe it's the anniversary of a loss of somebody because I feel like, um, I almost feel like something is catching up to somebody, especially with the, the devil here. This may be having to do with uh, some type of addiction, but I almost feel like somebody is genetically predisposed to either addictions or to maybe some heart ailment or heart issue or a stroke or something. Uh, this is, uh, I, I feel like you're aware of this. This is not like a surprise, but there may be also, some of you are well aware that in September, there could be this figure, whether brother, or, now the, it is coming across as a male to me. It doesn't have to be a male, but it is the emperor, not the empress. But I feel like there's something like surgical and maybe you're traveling home uh, either in honor of this person. This person may have passed already due to some heart ailment uh, and they're being honored and you're going back home or uh, or maybe they're maybe you're not going back home, but something is being honored in the hometown or where they're from. Um but another way that I'm reading this is that there may be something heart related or blood pressure related that's going to be looked at in September. But there is something also, I feel that somebody is having a difficulty of letting go of something from their past. Now, 
this this could be that it's 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 This could definitely be something very emotional that goes back to childhood. We have the Page of Pentacles here also in the challenge position. So I feel like when this is in my challenge position, it's almost make sure that, uh, that you look at the bigger picture that uh, the, you don't just focus on the short term. Um, I feel that maybe somebody is also concerned because there's lack of progress in some way. Um, and maybe with the devil card here, it's, you know, the energy is stuck. Although I myself like often the devil in reverse. The chains, you know, part of this is, you know, uh, history, yes, often does repeat itself, but there's a choice in it of whether or not it will. And I feel like the power is in your hands more than what you realize. Although the saying is the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, um, but... It depends on your thoughts about that and whether or not you fall for that. Because I feel like with, now this, there's a need to release yourself from either a toxic situation, a toxic person. So this could definitely be uh, very much in marriage and maybe somebody is reluctant because the page of pentacles often comes across to me as children. And, you know, you're, you're trying to do what's best for the children. Um, uh, but this could also be very much work related because I'm seeing this as a boss. And there's maybe there's a power struggle amongst three people or three siblings. Uh, but what's going to help you with the devil here in reverse? Because this is how it's coming across to me is that there's a need to detach yourself to break free to reclaim your power because this emperor could be somebody around you but i feel like somehow you have the strength and the power or the ability to reclaim your power but maybe somebody around you is telling you, you know what? No, you don't. But by setting boundaries and deciding to reclaim your power, I feel like you do. It's a decision, you know, and it could be that you're being pulled in two different directions. It could be that you are one of these three people. Or there's three influences. And just like we have the sphinxes or, you know, however you want to look at these. But there's three people in this picture. And um, and there's three people here. The number three I mean, is, is going to be a significance. Whether, like I said, it's children. Um, or you have to make a decision between two people. Or maybe somebody is, uh, you know, you feel like you're waiting to uh, hear somebody else making decision regarding you and two people. If that is the case, what I always like to say is take your power back where you can. Um, if you are waiting to hear, you know, I don't even like the word waiting. It's almost like I, you know... There, there's times, yes, we have to have patience and we have to wait. But if it's a situation where maybe you don't have to wait, uh, if this is, uh, you know, when it comes to a love relationship, it's uh, what I'm hearing is why are you waiting for someone else to determine your happiness? That's what I'm hearing. Because you don't have to. It's like 
the ball is in your court more than what you realize. Your future is in your hands. Now, I'm also... Okay, hold on a second. How... You know, I feel that uh, some of you may be also discovering something very spiritual. Um, maybe a connection to the other side. Or this is a gift you were given since you were a child. But I almost feel like somebody saying, you know, like that's the devil's work. Like, you know, don't, you know, that's against our belief system and that's something that you have to come to terms with um or you know if you want to stay in that with that belief system because i feel like somebody does have an ability to communicate with like the other side and you've had it since you were little but maybe you've been ignoring it or you were told you know not to go there for whatever reason. Um, but I feel like setting up boundaries is going to be very important. Setting up your own boundaries. Now, this could also be where there's a Gemini in your life. You may not be the Gemini, but you there's toxicity around a Gemini that you need to release yourself from because this is what's going to help. There's something that you need to release or would help you to move forward by releasing whatever this is. And you may have to go back home in order to do it. You may do, you may go back to your childhood physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, it's so it's not a physical trip, but it's a mental emotional trip. It may be damage that was done in your childhood that you need to release yourself from. Um, but as I was saying, it could also be very much, you know, the devil for me does come up with toxicity like addictions. There may be some addictive aspect it could be you're addicted to a person. It could be that somebody is addicted to you. Uh, it could be an actual addiction. I, I feel like in this addiction could be also affecting somebody's heart, like physically. Um, it's not a surprise. I feel like, you, you know, you know that it, it could be that, you know, it's taking its toll. Um, and you are deciding what you're going to do. I feel like quite a few of you are going to be victorious in releasing yourself from this. This is moving forward. And like I said, for some of you, this is a move. It's a move in a new direction in terms of love. It's a move in terms of, of work. And an, it could be an actual physical move that you need to get away from your home um, and for some of you, it's the opposite where I feel like in order to release yourself, there's a return to home. There's a facing going back home. And that flat, my flash went out. That is a technical issue. Um, I like to say that because it's not anything uh, spiritual going on here. Uh, I do have a, a technical problem with my um, with the camera here. Um, and I feel like some of you are also really wanting to, some of you are making changes around and building a solid foundation for you and your family. I feel like this may be a second or third try. Third time's the charm. And some of you, it's a decision uh, that you are making. 
So remember, you hold the, the power. Now, there could also be somebody new coming into your life. Uh, now, this is, de, de, you know, an earth sign, but doesn't have to be. But the earth signs, just to let you know, are Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Uh, this could be somebody maybe from your past or from your childhood or somebody from your past introduces you to someone from um, or introduces you to someone new. But in order to, and it could be that you have a decision to make between, like I said earlier, that's why the three is here. Do I want to stay in this toxic situation or is the challenge to begin something new? This is a new beginning. This is like green. This is like starting all over again. But in order to do that, there's a release of something or someone toxic or a toxic situation. So some of you may have a decision in that. Um, so, wow, very powerful reading, Gemini. Very powerful reading. Uh, you know, they've all been actually very powerful, I, you know, but... I, I really hope, um, you know, that this reading brings you some guidance and helps. Remember, if this does not resonate, watch your moon and or rising sign. And remember the signs that I brought up earlier because they may be of importance. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate you watching and subscribing and, uh, and taking the time out of your busy life to watch my videos. So take care. All right. Bye.